here. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on, kitty. She won't go down the steps. Tell everybody, welcome to our disaster. Yes. So here is the duck. Isn't it beautiful? No. Look at this. I've got water still in places, buckets and all kinds of flower pots here, things I'm working on. We've got that. We've got everything set up. But what I'm doing today is I'm going to change some things around. I've decided for this year to have sections of different planters going. Didn't we, kitty? Yep, we did. More broccoli, too. So I hope to get this done today in between everything else I have to do. You'll see. I think this one is going to be my dish pan section. It works so well. I've got lettuce. I used to grow all kinds of like radishes all year here. We're going to get all kinds of stuff here. Now here, to make the aisle more even and well, I'm just kind of thinking of things. I'm going to set up here these containers that are lifted. She thinks she's getting broccoli. I know, and the sun is very bright today. This has been great, and nothing has ever fallen over. So it works fantastic. So I'm going to have it all lined up, and I may use some of these tables. Like Gary built this at a PVC. And I will tell you, the reason we didn't do a video on this is after he built it and analyzed, he had a lot of scrap pieces, what it would cost for you to build that. It was going to be like $50. So because of these caps, these connectors are very expensive. The PVC pipe itself is not that expensive, but when you start buying the connectors, it adds up. So we decided, nah, we're not gonna bother because we're into easy, inexpensive recycling, which a lot of this was recycled. And so we're not gonna do that stand. But you know, those tables, those TV table stands, you can get them for 10 bucks. And if you find them at a thrift store, they're wood. They've worked all last year. There's another one. You can paint them up. They work really nice and they're cheap. You can get them at the thrift store for like three, four dollars, sometimes cheaper. You can sometimes people are throwing them away, but I'm gonna get away from some of that. Now here, I'm gonna do totes. I'm gonna leave the totes and I'm probably gonna change that one over there. Look, she can't even open her eyes. It's so bright, the sun. That tote will go here on the broken tote. But right now I'm gonna leave the broken tote for many reasons. One of them, it's just the extra work I do not need. So we'll leave that tote, but I will have that as a spare. I may move that temporarily because I'm going to set up a lot more propagating totes. Those are greenhouses that will cost you, what, $5? You can go get them at the thrift store. It doesn't even have to be that big. You can get smaller ones if you want to use, we'll get into that. You can use other colors, but there's certain colors you don't want to use. So we will actually do that on another time on how to make those greenhouses because there's there's good points on how you do it and points at where it won't work. So this is going to be lined up as totes. This wall is going to have the containers be at three or two set up. We're not going to talk about this. <laughs> not today. This is like, this is just some peppers growing in the window. This is like one of the laziest Maybe stupidest things I've done. No, I've this done like stupid. But anyways, it works. And we'll talk about what this is. I actually have notes on there when I'm doing, and it works really good. I don't know. You'll think, she's really crazy. Hear that chirp? That chirp is that little hummingbird sitting in the tree there. That's how loud those tiny hummingbirds get. They do it with their tail. Anyways, let's get back to this. So we're going to change this up. This I put up for the rain, and then once the wind came, I had to take it down. It worked really good. The hummingbirds, I had a feeder here, could hang in the middle. So let me get in here and get this work done. I can clean the fountain area up later. This is my sink, and it's been interesting on the seeds, the pansies. I had to cover them. I moved it right now because I put that fountain there. Remember the fabric? So I moved it here. I have to cover these at night because we're still too cold, but the pansies, the giant pansies are growing. So there'll be some changes and some things will be staying. But right now we've got like multiple things going on. Gary's doing the landing. Can you imagine this wasn't here a month ago? It looks like a pier, but it's a landing. It's a stairway landing. He's working on that today and I'm going to be working on the deck today. And I think it's not just that's going to be organized. You know, this is for your benefit too, if you're interested, because you'll see what grows better. Do dish pans grow better? Do totes grow better? Do flower pots grow better? 
How about this? Trash cans, 98 cents. These have been fantastic and so easy to make a hood, whether you make it out of the tote lids you've got from your totes, you can make it out of placemats. I've got videos on that. Milk cartons. But first, we've got to get rid of all this water and let's get that area set up. I'm going to work. You don't work and the hummingbirds are calling. Okay, let's get this in and let's get this done. So here, the first thing I want to do is just clear everything out. We can figure out later how to organize it. When I say we, it'll be me. Kitty's not going to help. So I'm going to move all those planters I made by attaching them so they have lift and they are full of water from all the rain. And some of them actually catch the water so I can recycle the water later on instead of it just pouring out of the bottom. So I'm trying to get the plants watered. And now it's just like I said, just moving it around, getting the water out, moving the containers, and then kind of analyzing as I go, because you may see me running around like a chicken with its head cut off, but let me tell you something. I'm thinking as I work. So I've got two tables that I've had forever that are the same size, which works out perfect. And now it's just a matter of moving things and hopefully not letting too many things fall off the deck and trying to figure out, you know, the best place to set it up. So I'm kind of getting it like the tables where I want it. Now I've got these rails. Now those rails are sleep number bed rails, stuff that Gary finds sometimes in the trash and they work perfect. They really hold a lot of weight. So it's just a matter of setting it up the way I want, because I don't want to kind of go back and do it again, but though it can be, and she's watching my little helper. And that was it. We finished it. It was that quick. I'm done. Okay. Today, we're just going to do the update on what I did. Now, for today, sun's starting to go down a little bit. This is what I set up. Now, keep your eyes open when you're finding things in the, you know, for the trash, because people throw away a lot of different things. Those are the sleep number rails, and Gary picked it up a while ago, but I could have put anything there. I could have put some good, maybe bookcase shelvings. It's only for four dish pans. That's all it's gonna hold there. And right now I've got three, and I've made these covers for them. We're gonna get more into how to make the covers. Can you imagine, if I went to buy a cover or tomato steaks, what it would cost, and I had calculated this thing cost me 50 cents to make the cover, that's all it costs. So the tubings are gonna be my best friend this year, along with tool. So tubing and tool, and you've got it made. I bought some cilantro the other day. I stopped at the nursery and they had slow bolt. And even though I am growing some, it's in my lettuce, which is back there. Where is my lettuce? Oh, it's back there on the ground, I think. It's covered back there. It's got some cilantro growing, but I figured, you know what? It's just one tray. I'm gonna put all the plants in one. And if you look, I've showed you this before. This is really cool. It's supposed to be one plant, but it really is a few more. One seed always seems to grow two. So it's a double seed. It's actually a unit of seeds. So you'll end up, if you plant one cilantro seed with multiple plants in in one you know pot and that's okay you can leave them together and they'll grow fine so i'm going to go ahead and get this planted in one of the containers i'm probably going to cover it i might plant it in that one use that for something a little taller because it's going to get tall but i'm not going to get that tall and the thing is it'll be here easy reach to grab when we're having dinner or something you want some cilantro just come out here undo this this is put on with an elastic so it just lifts you get what you want. And I don't have to worry about any bugs or insects getting to it. It'll stay nice and clean. If it goes to seed and I decide I want to collect some seeds, at that point, I definitely will uncover it and make sure it gets pollinated by little hoverflies or whatever wants to pollinate it. And then I can collect some seed because that's how I'm growing it in my lettuce. I had some cilantro growing in there and then I put the lettuce in there after the cilantro died out, but there were seeds that fell a few of them went to seed so it started growing some more but this is slow bolt so this is perfect for southern california now i've got to straighten out and figure out how i want to do this as i told you i'm going to get rid of one more of these i'm not sure if it's going to be the tote or just that table but i definitely want to have two propagating units here those greenhouses are amazing i i, I want to set up as many as i possibly can 
there's a special way and unique of setting it up to get it to work really good and it costs you nothing. You don't have to build a big greenhouse. You've got that. And if you put it where you're working, in, you know, close by, like it's right up against where I go in and out here, I can even come out at night, you keep an eye on your plants better because it's right at your fingertips. Anytime something is right at your fingertips, you'll be able to step out, even when you don't plan on it, take a look and go, oh, everything's doing good. Or is that a weed in there? That looks like another Swiss chart. I'm not sure. We'll leave it right now. Oh, doing that again. And then, of course, the lettuce. Look, I come out here at night. It's like, oh, we want lettuce. We just rip into it, and it's just growing back again. So it's kind of like come again. You know, you eat it and just keep eating from the outside until it finally will just be, well, burned out, and then it will be done. It will probably will bolt instead at that point. But it's right there, and that's why I want to have this here, because it's so easy for me to come out and check on everything. It's like I walked out here the other day, checked all my seedlings. They're doing fantastic. The mustard's getting nice and big, which I have to find a place for it, and all the broccoli. And then I thought, oh, am I going to compost these? And then I stopped and went, no, no, no. I've never grown this. This is something like Big Jim peppers I put in here. and even had fruit. Yes, in a pencil box. And I thought, no, I better pull some of these out and stick them in a pot and then take care of them and see. And, or I'll start over. I don't know. But I think I would like to have at least two of them here. So I've got another tote like this. So I'll bring it over here soon. But that's going to be really nice to walk around. It'll be out of your way. You'll have it kind of open. I can put a pot there. I can put something here. And then I'll have the dish pans there and then all the pots, the individual pots there. And then I'll take care of what's in the center. This is more for spring. I've got another one that I've got to set up. And we'll talk about that another time. So anyways, I just wanted to give you kind of an update. And here's the, the landing that Gary built off the deck here. It's done. Well, no, this part's done. And he put the baby gate here. It's all locked in. We can go over this later on another day. And then he put the wire there so Kitty can go out, which she doesn't want to right now. And I can go and check on the hummingbirds. And then I can take care of my lettuce and set that up better. I've got spinach and lettuce growing there. So that's it. So all in all, it's coming along. Yes, it looks like a real mess, doesn't it? But, you know, I think it's going to be much more efficient for me. And I think it's going to be fun trying different containers because I also want to set these up. These are trash cans that I get. They're a number five, so it's food grade plastic trash cans. And they cover up so well in the fabric. Oh my gosh, I'm having so much fun. Look at my water fountain over there. Remember that fabric? It's just covered and it's just so cute. So I'm having a lot of fun with all this. All right, well, I'm going to kind of look around, get my cilantro probably planted, get that over there, and then get my little area all finished and then start thinking about what I want to do there. And the reason this is on the rail, that is walking onions and garlic chives. And I can't put that on the ground because I found out that somebody likes onions. So that's not gonna work. So that everything like that has to be up, which will also be good when I lift him, like she can't get into these walking onions. She's too short. So that will keep it out of her mouth. And I wanna get all this done. So I think next time you see it, it should look really fun. And look at that, I made that the other day and the hummingbirds are wild about it. I know this is not on hummingbirds, but it's just, uh, it's with the tubing, the irrigation tubing, and. A, a few tomato steaks and it's covered and now I was trying to cover them from the sun and the I was actually trying to cover them from not just the sun but the rain then the wind came and I had to take it down for a while but they love it they come in by the dozens to feed all at one time and I realized it's not just that they don't have to worry about hawks flying overhead anything bothering them they've got their own little canopy there and there are holes in it on the side so if it did rain and it started to sink down the water will drip down, but not on their feeder. Anyways, this is not on hummingbirds. Oh, you were gonna go take a bath on the snowball. Okay, so let's see what happens in the next week. I'll try to come back within the week, and hopefully there's gonna be a lot of new changes coming. And maybe I'll be able to put the cover back on when we know there's not gonna be any more wind. With that, have a wonderful day, and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. I got a lot of work. We've got a lot of work. Oh, you don't have any work. You just eat broccoli. Where are you? You want some broccoli again? You already had. You're eating all our broccoli up. No, it's her broccoli. 
Okay, here. You're waiting for your broccoli. She won't go down the steps. Yeah, because she's being told not here, to. Here, right there. There it is. She said you yelled at me last time. I wanted it's to okay. look. It's okay. Okay, I'm not going to force her. Here, I'm not going to force you. You ate it that quick?